What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a regulation E team that was made by a Pokemon World Champion. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by Ryoto Ospu. Like I mentioned, won a Pokemon World Championship. So huge shout out to him. We'll be linking his uh, channel down in the description below. So if you guys want to check him out, definitely do so. But again, this team looking amazing, looking powerful with Monkey Dory and Moltres top tier made by a very good player so hopefully get the rack out with it on the rank ladder and grab you guys some wins but the first pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview in our one slot is going to be hisuian arcanine this pokemon has been top tier in regulation e been loving it so much it's got intimidate with the assault vest and then rock and flare blitz rock slide extreme speed and then terror blast with that fairy terry type monkey dory is in our second slot with frisk and the focus ash a great pokemon especially because of its moveset. It's got Psychic and Sludge Bomb for big time stab damage. Then we got Fake Out for flinches. And then we also have Parting Shot to pivot out along with that attack and special attack drop. In our third slot, we got Moltres over here. And this Moltres is going to be a big part of the team with Berserk and the Citrus Berry. Then Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Nasty Pot to set up that special attack boost and protect for its final move. We have our first support Pokemon with Sinistra in our fourth slot with Hospitality and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Macha Gacha, Trick Room, Rage Powder, and Life Dew for even more HP recovery. Grim Snarl's in our fifth slot, one of my favorite support Pokemon of all time, with Prankster and Light Clay as its item. It's got Low Kick to deal with those heavy Pokemon, Light Screen, Reflect, and Parting Shot, just like Monkey Dory to pivot out and get those attack drops as well. Final Pokemon is going to be Milotic. Milotic is just a solid Pokemon on all teams in this game. It's got competitive with the wide lens to make hypnosis land more often, and it's rocking life do, icy wind, and hydro pump. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this world champion team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we're going up against a pretty meta squad, right? They got Fire Ogre Pond alongside with Milotic, Rillaboom, then they're rocking out with Iron Hands, Warren Moon, and last but not least, King Gambit. How should I play this one? Who should I lead? I think Moltres is a staple Pokemon for this team. It's really, really powerful. It's going to be a big part of us kind of getting some big time damage because a lot of these guys are support. So going in with like Moltres could be a solid lead. But they could lead a fake out user such as Iron Hands or Real Boom. I can definitely see that happening. But I'm still going to go into my Light Clay Grimstone here. I feel like if I can get off screens, it would be lovely. I could also go into Arcanine, which would not be bad for the lead, right? Well, I would actually like it for more so as a backhand Pokemon because I don't want to lead it with the flying Gambit on the team. So I'm going to go Grimstarl here. I am also just going to go Monkey Dory, right? Monkey Dory's not bad. Get off some big damage. You can also fake out as well. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go Monkey Dory. I am going to go Grimstarl here. I'm going to bring Moltres and Arcanine as backhand Pokemon. So let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one going up against this really tough squad. I feel like any squad with Ogre Pond is always a problem. It's always dealing some big time damage, always getting some work done. So looking to just grab ourselves from one here and then move on with today's video, which will be awesome going to match number two with a big time victory. <clears throat> Let's see who they end up leading. They got that mask on. They got the mask on. They end up going King Gambit and, uh, what is that? Iron Hands. So cool. We did not go into our Intimidate Pokemon. That works out pretty well for us. So I can actually fake out the King Gambit if I want to. Iron Hands does have an Assault Vest. Um, I think Reflect is just going to be a pretty little thing for us. And instead of Faking Out, I could just Psychic if I want to. But Fake Out, probably going to be the best play. And I'm just going to Fake Out the King Gambit, right? Yeah, let's just Fake Out the King Gambit. And then go from there. So give the King Gambit a little Fake Out action. Reflect's going to get set up. And let's see what Iron Hands is doing. What are you doing, Iron Hands? He's going to go for a Heavy Slam. That's fine. That's fine. We're able to soak pretty well. And from here, I might just pardon the shot right here. But actually, I'm just going to go for a low kick to deal damage on you. And I could Tarasas if I want to into straight poison. Would that be the play? Would that be the play? I mean, yeah, I kind of like that because the dark move come across here. Kind of deals some big time damage to me. So yeah, I don't mind Tarasas in the straight poison. I don't mind that. So I'm going to Terrasalize into Straight Poison. I'm going to drop a Psychic right into the Iron Hand slot. I know it has Assault Vest, but we should still be able to chunk up a decent amount of damage. 
a nice lovely poison type. Coming out here from the monkey. The monkey Dory. I like this Pokemon. I think he's so cool. So Psychic's gonna fly here, chip up some damage on you. How much damage are we doing? Oh, beautiful. Half? We love that. We love half. Low kick coming in here, dealing some big time damage on the King Gambit. We love that as well. Kowtow Cleave was going into this slot, and oh my lord, the Terra type did not matter. It, it did not matter in the slightest. We just wasted our Terra. Really brought us down to one HP, and Heavy Slam's gonna come out here and finish off you. So we got some Reflex out here. Of course that thing gets a crit, but I kind of like where we're sitting. I kind of like where we're sitting. That is just absurd, though. <laughs> that is really absurd. So I know they have Sucker Punch. I could just go into you. Yeah, and now would be the time to go into Moltres here. And actually, ooh, this is kind of tough. I know he's rocking Sucker Punch. I know for a fact he's rocking Sucker Punch. And I could just Fiery Wrath, which I think is going to be my best bet. Just Fiery Wrath KO. And then just parting shot at the same time. Just to get fake out later. Because I know he's going for Sucker Punch. We know he's going for Sucker Punch. We know he's going for Sucker Punch. So, there's the Sucker Punch. We dodge it. We get off a parting shot, which is massive. And we have her fucked up. So, if this thing is going for a Wild Charge in the Moltres, it's not going to deal too much damage to us. A smart play for us. And plus, this uh, Fire Wrath should be able to KO the King Gambit and get off some damage on the Iron which would be lovely. Now I get to bring out Arcanine. I'm actually going to intimidate him again. Bring this thing very, very low. Make sure he's not doing like any damage to us. I know he has Defiant on the King Gambit, but once Fiery Wrath hits it, it is going to KO it. So, not too worried about the proc the Defiant here. Just trying to get this Iron Hands uh, attack set down. So, there we go. King Gambit gone. He's probably going to hit me with this Wild Charge. And this thing's minus three, right? No, he's minus two. Minus two with a Reflect out here. Again, we should be able to serve rather well. Beautiful. I thought the thing was going to get crit, and I was going to be so upset. So we end up getting off some decent damage here. We still have Monkey Dory in the back end. Um, let's see what they end up going into. Let's see. It's going to be Roaring Moon. The so Roaring Moon comes out here looking a little scary. It's just a tad bit scary. And I think from here, Rock Slide's going to be your best friend. They still have Terra, too. They definitely still have Terra. I mean, Air Slash wouldn't be bad, and same thing with Rock Slide. I definitely want a Rock Slide. I definitely want a Rock Slide. Maybe I might just Air Slash into Iron Hands. I really don't feel like dealing. Letting that thing get off a, a... What's it called? I really don't want it to get off a Drain Punch and get some HP back. So Acrobax flies in here. We're going to Citrus Berry up here, alongside with Berserk Boost, which is massive. And we like that a lot. So we're back up to half HP, beautiful. Rock Slide's gonna come across, ship up some nice damage, and Air Slash should be able to take out Iron Hands, right? Get it on out of here. Beautiful. So we're plus one boosted with Moltres here. This is a solid match so far. We still have Monkey Dory in the back end, which I might want to swap into. I don't know, it's only on one HP. But I would love to have Intimidate again. Intimidate would be nice, especially with Wilbur. So, Rillaboom comes out here. I might just protect the Moltres and swap into Monkey Dory. Just so I get off Intimidate. It's just going to be too big. Especially with how many turns left in Reflect. Four. Yeah. Let's go here. Let's protect. And let's just hard swap you. Into Monkey Dory. If Monkey Dory dies, Monkey Dory dies. I just want to get off Intimidate again. And get a nice lovely stat drop here. So, we'll swap to Arcanine. We will protect the lovely Moltres. And we're kind of hoping he just goes Fake Out and Acrobatics into the Moltres slot. That would be... That would be... My favorite thing, honestly. But you never know. Let's see how this one plays out here. Fake guy's gonna go in this slot, and he's just gonna kill us. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, I, I just really want to get off Intimidate here. So we'll sacrifice Monkey Dory to get off a minus one on two physical attackers. Not one, but two. And this thing Dragon Dances. Oh no, what a play. That's scary. That's scary. So he already had speed. We're going to bring its attack stat back down to normal. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. I have a Salt Vest, but it's not going to do anything up against both these guys. And I'm intimidating again. This is such a good matchup. This is such a good matchup. But they still have Terror type. They still have Terror type, which could come out onto the Real Boom right here. Could definitely come out onto the Real Boom right now. Hmm. I want to Air Slash, so I want to Fire Wrath. I kind of just want to air slash and double down into into this thing, right? 
I kind of want to do that. I'm just gonna rock slide onto him. I'm doubling down into War Moon though. Don't want to deal with the War Moon. But I think War Moon has a flying Terra that he doesn't want to use because of Rock Slide. And I think now he's gonna go into it. Let's see. Yep, there's a the flying Terra. So now he goes to the flying Terra, looking to do as much damage as he possibly can. We did bring it back down to zero HP, which is good. But Grassy guys, well not zero HP, zero attack stat. And Acrobatics is now gonna fly. And are you doubling down to Arcanine here? Now you're going into Moltres, who dies out to that. Oh. Oh. We don't like that. How much damage is this Rock Slide doing? Rock Slide. KO the War Moon, please. Thank you. Okay, so we KO the War Moon, and now I think we should be fine because he can't Terrasalize the Rillaboom anymore. He can't Terrasalize the Rillaboom anymore, and if we just get off one Flare Blitz, we win this game. So with Reflect out here, I think we should be fine. We outspeed it unless it goes for Grassy Glide. I think that's cool. Solid start. Is this going to win us the game? Flare Blitz coming out here. GG's. Game set match. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hot start for us in match number one. Solid match all around. Came down to the, the wire in the last move, but we end up coming out on top. Second match on its way. We'd love to go back to back here in match number two, but we're going up against Breloom, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, alongside with Ogre Pond. They also have Grimmsnarl, just like us, and then Ursa Luna, probably for tricking purposes, alongside with Urshfu and Heatran. Who should I go into? Who's the lead for Sheen's here? Screen's not going to be bad. They have no Intimidate Pokemon. So, Milo eh, could be okay. Could be okay for late game. But I think Gripsnarl is just going to be solid. Set up the screens. Kind of get after it that way. And then Monkey Dory on top of it. I kind of like, especially with all their Pokemon that they have. And then Moltres and Arcanine. Loving it. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's go 2-0 here. Would, lo would love to go. Go into the third and final match with a 2-0 record would be beautiful but that last match was so solid it was just solid all around our opponent played good i played good it came down to the last turn and i'm thinking if maybe they terrestrialized rillaboom it could have been maybe a little bit better but it could have had a bad tire type like fire so rockside would have still ko'd it but i think they want the ko with the uh war moon so they end up terrestrializing that point one but they end up going into double bear they end up double bearing. We see Assault Vest and Focus Sash on these Pokemon. The Focus Sash is on Urshifu. Um, from here, mm, Light Screen might be your best bet. I could just go for Low Kick considering this thing is so heavy. And you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Low Kick here, and I'm just going to fake out the Urshifu. I'll set up screens and stuff next turn. So I want to take off Focus Sash. She could end up detecting Urshifu, which would be the smart play. Right? Ultimately, it would be the smart play. But if I get off a Low Kick onto Ursaluna, whoo! Be beautiful fake outs gonna end up coming out here we say bye bye to focus ash we love it and low kicks on a flyer how much damage are you doing beautiful half damage onto an ursa luna bear we love it blood moon's gonna fly out here into my focus ash monkey dory we don't mind that one bit so from here let's just low kick again low kick and try to parting shot i'm cool with that i'm cool with the psychic actually I think I think Urshu is going to go after Monkey Dory. So that comes back and we... Oh, I forgot you learned that. I did forget you learned that. So we end up soaking that. Um, can Urshu KO my Grimstone? That's the real question. No, I don't think he can. Cool. So he's going to KO my Monkey Dory. This low kick's going to come through here and KO Urshu. It should KO Urshu. I'm going to be very upset if it doesn't. And then next turn, I can set up screws. Low kick's going to come out here. Come on with that. That ain't right. That ain't right. Um. Mm. That ain't cool. It's my play here to go into Arcanine and just Terra Blast. And save Moltres for the back end. Oh, dude, that's so ugly. That's so ugly that you don't die to that. How do I do half damage first when don't finish that thing off? Where's my play to go into Moltres and potentially Terrasalize him? I mean, I have a Soul Vest for you, which isn't bad I'm gonna swap into Arcanine I'm gonna swap into Arcanine so I can actually end up I can e-speed him if I want to um I could e-speed Ursula and I could just pop a rock slide um you have other physical attackers in the back end yeah it kind of seems like Ogre Pond's gonna be there so I think setting up Reflect this turn is gonna be big for us and I'm gonna end up Terrasalizing and just looking to get rid of Ursula that's so brutal. That is so brutal. 
I don't KO you, Ursaluna? That is awful. That's ugly. Ugly. It's a withdraw on Ursaluna. That's cool with me here. Go into a physical attacker, please. What are you going into? Ogre Pond. Beautiful. Beautiful. I get off this nice lovely screen. And I get the Terrasalize and Terra Blast this Urshfu down. So upset. They're going to have Ursaluna in the back end with Vacuum Wave, which is a first turn priority move for late game. That, that could definitely do me dirty. Low kick, you should have KO. I, I like low kick on Grimstraw. So I end up setting up the lovely Reflect. We like that a lot. And I wonder what Urshfu's going to do. He's going for certain strikes to finish off the Grimstraw. That's totally fine. So we'll go KO for KO here. I have Moltres in the back end, which I really like. Um, I am scared of the Ogre Pond because we all know Ogre Pond can just start one-shotting Pokemon. It's, it's, it's pretty much its thing. It just puts its mask on, gets an attack boost, and then Ivy cudgels everything in sight. But I do have Reflect Up, which is going to work wonders for us. Urshifu does not die out to this. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Getting real ugly now. Now, now we're getting into the, the ugly stuff. I bring out Moltres. It looks like it's fire type. Luckily, it's not a fire type. And I think from here, instead of protecting, because Urshifu is still on the field, we just air slash that slot, and we go into a rock slide just to kind of land it and finish off first and get off damage on the Ogrepan at the same time. But yo, this match, come on, man. I can't KO Pokemon to save my life right now. Got them both down to the wire. I really thought Terra Blast would finish off Urshfu. I guess not. I guess not. Nice little Fairy Terra Blast isn't enough to take out the bears. The bears are just being bulky today. Bulky bears today. Ursuluna and Urshfu. Ivy Cuts are going to come out here. He did not put the mask on, which we like. We have Reflect Up soaking pretty well here. Certain Strikes going to come through here, and that's just going to KO us. That is gonna, oh, wait a minute. I forgot the berry might save us. Oh, the berry could be the clutchest thing on planet Earth. The berry could be the clutchest thing on planet Earth. And it looks to be the clutchest thing on planet Earth. Massive. Massive. We just need Rock Slide landing here. And we're, we're in a hot spot. We're in a hot spot if Rock Slide lands. And it lands. Hot spot, yo. Getting rid of Urshifu. Dealing some damage on the Ogre Pond. Citrus Berry clutching up. And Air Slash should be able to finish off Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond, do me a favor. Get on out of here. Get, get on out of here. Get it on out of my face. So, double KO. They have Ursaluna in the back end. Low HP. And I don't know who their final Pokemon is. Heat Train. I don't like that. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. I don't like that. I'm gonna go Fiery Wrath, and my best bet would probably just be going Rock Slide, right? You could Terrasalize in the grass here, but highly unlikely. Rock Slide's gonna land here. Maybe we get we get a flinch chance with Rock Slide. We also get a flinch chance with Fiery Wrath, so. Chances, we have chances of getting flinched here, which would be massive. And wow, that, that's some damage. We like that damage, and we get the flinch. That wraps up the game. Let's go. Let's go. 2 0. 2 0. That wraps it up. Big time flinches from the boys. So, Fire Rats can come out here. Fire Rats should be able to finish it off. And I guess we'll go for another Rock Slide because it's the only one actually doing damage. And they cancel match. So, 2 0. Let's go into that third and final match. Look for that perfect record for you guys. Final match on its way. And we got something a little crazy here. Some Flora and Carbon theme. A little off meta to end the video. Absolutely love to see it on the rank liner. They also have Frigoraph, Shen Pao, Ogre Pond, and the Sunsetter Torque. Torquey Torques. So, bump, 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 bump. Fake Out could be solid, but I think they'd lead Frigoraph potentially. So maybe going in with Pokemon without first from priority could be solid, such as Moltres. And maybe just setting up screens. Screens are just our best friend. You can't go wrong with screens. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring Milotic in the back end. And then last but not least, either Monkey Dory or Arcanine. I'm kind of leaning towards Monkey Dory. I like this Pokemon a lot, especially with Fake Out late in the match. I mean, honestly, you could be good too. You could be good. You have Best as well. You got E-Speed. You know what? Yeah. Sorry, Monkey Dory. I love you, but assuming Arcanine is just top tier in regulation you right now. It really is. It's got a great moveset, great typing, paired up with a good terror typing such as Fairy. It just works too well. It really does. E-Speeds, Rock Slide, Flare Blitz. It's, it's, it's just where it's at. It's so good. And then with one of the best abilities in the game with Intimidate, you really just you just can't go wrong with it. You really can't. It works so well in many different situations of the meta at the moment. But Shen Pao, Ogi come out here. Might have to hard swap in the Arcanine here. 
it is an option it is definitely an option um mold breaker comes out here i might terrestrialize and air slash the ogre pond down he could put on the mask too which at that point would get very very ugly but um yeah, I'm just gonna go for the air slash, and I'm just gonna set up this reflect. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty standard reflect. We have to set it up here. I'm gonna try slice and ultras. I'm just not looking to die out to an ice spinner here. He's gonna throw the mask on, no problem. And he's looking just to probably KO the Moltres in my opinion. But I don't think he can one shot me, which is pretty nice because then I can uh, eat the berry and get off some big damage at the same time. And Moltres might be faster than Overpun too, which would be awesome. Yeah, I'm not looking just to die out to a uh, to an ice spinner here, so I'd rather just hit that nice Terra button, set up this reflect, and uh, kind of go from there. Nice, lovely Terra type. I love, I love how the Terra type looks on Moltres. I do. Well, not just Moltres, the the poison Terra type symbol. It just looks so nice. He's gonna end up going into Grimmsnarl. I set up the reflect, and what are you going after? Are you double down to Grimmsnarl. You are. I have a reflect up there. That's fine. You can KO me all day. And of course you get a crit. Of course you get the crit. And I'm going to end up popping a nice little air slash. We got off some nice damage. We like that damage. And on top of that, do we go into Arcanine now? Just for intimidate purposes? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Just a, such a solid play. So now I intimidate both of these guys. Um, He cannot terrestrialize the Shen Pao. Rock Slide's... 100% our play, and I might just Fiery Wrath on top of that. Or do I Air Slash? Because I think Rock Slide can actually KO the Ogre Pond. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Air Slash. We have Reflect Up. Looking wonderful. They're both minus one on attack, too. Actually, Ogre Pond's even, because they get the plus one attack boost from its uh, Terra. But he ends up just saved the Ogre Pond. He's going to end up going in the for graph. We're not going for any first turn priority, so this actually works well for us. I got Fire Wrath ready to cook. And he ends up protecting. He ends up protecting. So Rock Slide's going to get going here. How much damage is doing the for graph? Not bad. Um, I think now we have to go for Fiery Wrath. Considering they have for graph on the field. And that's going to be my play. So Fire Wrath going to come out here. And I'm just going to stay... I'm actually going to go for a Flare Blitz this time around. Instead of a Rock Slide. I think it's going to work a tad bit better. Because I want to at least bring down uh, in the Focus Ash. But Reflex is going to help us out tremendously here. Flare Blitz is going to bring you down the Focus Ash. We love it. We're going to take a little bit of recoil damage. But... But... Fire Wrath is going to finish it off. And maybe take out the Fur Graph too, which would be massive. We get double kill here. We don't. Absurd. Hurt and soul. But we do get rid of Shen Pao, so no, no, they're not sweet. They're not sweet us here. So figure I'm probably going for a Psychic or something. Eats up a Citrus Berry. Mm. Don't like that one bit. But it's going to pop Trick Room instead. Options, options, options. Mm. It does. It ends up popping the rooms full of tricks. So I can't go for E Speed, which kind of sucks. But, um... Hmm. They're going to end up going back into Tor. Oh, Oh no, not the Torx, not the Torx, the Torx pretty much wraps it up, right? Fiery Wrath time, uh, I guess I can E-Speed, I was going to say I guess I'll E-Speed, but I can't because of Armor Tail. Now it's things erupting, and then he's just going to say, that's easy double kills. Actually, ooh, Arcanine soaking with that vest? Oh, hold up, Genius is in this match, I thought he was just going to erupt and just kaboom me, right? I thought that was going to wrap it up. We eat up Citrus Berry now. Twin Beam coming out here. Can we soak this? You might. You might. And you will. I love you guys. You guys are just bulking out here. Big time plays. Because this should be a double kill if we land our shots, right? Fire Wrath coming in here. Frick Wrath. Get on out of here. Torkoal. Oh, the damage. The damage. Rock Slide land. And then we can finish off this match. Because then it turns to a 2v1. And we... <laughs> we missed! I do have E speed though. That's gonna be our play all day. E speeding. 100%. 1000% speed. 
we really miss that. Uh, from here, what's gonna do more damage? Fire Wrath. We're gonna Fire Wrath, and we're just gonna go for the E Speed. We really missed that Rock Slide. Well, you heard Soul. E Speed coming out here. Finish it off. Thank you. Thank you. We had to waste a turn doing that, but I think we should still be fine. We should still be fine. Quick Attack coming out here. We got Quick Attack. I feel you. I understand. And this... Actually, Trick Room's gonna help us out here. I was gonna say, this honestly gets a little scary because he could just, like, Horn Leech me. Get back HP, but they have Trick Room out here. I got that wide lens. I'm laying this Hydro Pump, and I'm finishing this one off. Actually, the sun is out, but I think we just E-Speed at the same time, right? I could put him to sleep, too, but I think E-Speed and, and Hydro Pumps should be able to do, get the work done, right? Yeah, even with the sun, E-Speed should bring it down to, like, mid-yellow, maybe low-yellow. And Hydro Pump, even in the sun, big-time damage, super effective. It's sad. Gonna KO it. He ends up spiky shielding. Oh no, is Spiky Shield gonna KO me? This could get ugly. This could get ugly. Okay, Spiky Shield's gonna help us soak up. I just promised to come out here. Woo! Woo! That looked a little rough. That looked a little, little rough for us. So I have one turn left in Trick Room. No way they land a double Spiky Shield here, right? No way they land a double spiky shield here. Right? No way. There's just there's just no way. Don't tell me I lose to some RNG BS here. A little double spiky shield action? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, no, no. There's, there's, there's just no way. I'm putting him to sleep now. I gotta put him to sleep. No way. There's just no way. Double spiky shield BS. I'm gonna lose to that? I'm gonna lose to that. Whatever. I'm, and, and, and you get a crit. And you get a crit. Come on, guys. That, that ain't my fault. That ain't my fault. Played super well there. Should have had a perfect record. I'll still take a 2-1 for you guys. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 winning record. Should have been a 3-0 perfect record. But RNG really just, like, punched me in the face five times and uh, kicked me while it's down. Really hurt. It definitely really hurt. But, uh, hey, again, winning record. Awesome with this world champion team. Cannot, cannot complain about that. But, guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.